Have you ever wondered how far you can get in every single zombies game using only your knife? Today I'm setting out to answer this question and see how far I can get using just melee through every single zombies game. But without further ado, let's get into the first game. So this one is either going to go really good or really bad. Because Doris, correct me if I'm wrong, is the only map that has a bowie knife. Also, World at War meleeing? sucks. The meleeing in this game is so buggy and then on top of that half the time it misses and then when it doesn't miss and you get smacked by a zombie you get like sucked into them and since you're in that melee animation you can't do anything but pray. I've knifed four zombies so far and two of the four have pulled me into them. I don't think World at War is going to go well. I'm also doing this one and done. Whatever I get I get. It is the true test of my skill level. Also the other part that sucks. Oh I'm scared. The other part that sucks is I can't like take shots with my 1911 at all because that is not melee only and if you haven't played world at war in a while and or you've never played world at war like that i was trying to explain that zombies have, oh my god zombies have this fun little mechanic called double swiping it's this fun little thing where they hit you twice instantaneously can you do the melee i didn't know you could do the melee trick in world at war you just have to do it from a lot further away i gotta open up the cheapest way possible right i need so many points for this bowie knife it's not gonna happen oh no i forgot about dogs world at war is not gonna go well. I don't think BO1 or BO2 are going to go well either. No, no, no. Okay. Calm down. So you can kind you can kind of do the melee trick. It's just really, really hard to pull off. Also, as soon as I lunge once, when there's a large group of zombies, I'm done for. I'm dead. I'm dead. That's it. Round three. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I said one and done. Don't look at these stats. We are moving on to the next game. I actually have no idea how I'm going to play this map. Like, don't get me wrong. I think BO1 at least would be a little bit easier just because I have quick revive. Also, the knifing is a little bit better in this game. But at the same time, like, I think I have a video on Kino where I was on like round 30 using my knife only. But it was because I ran out of ammo. I had jug. I had perks. Like I'm fine to use my knife then. But having to use it all the time and get to that point bro it's actually got to be near impossible. There's no way. I, I like again we're just doing these one and done. Like if I die on like round one or two like obviously I'll restart that. But anything past that point that is it. My other problem is Kino is just going to take a long ass time to get to the Bowie knife. I think I'll probably just chill in the spawn room for as long as I physically can, but I need to open this door here. I need to open the door next to Mule Kick, past the MP40, and into power. Oh boy, max ammo, bro. That's so sick. Why did it knife that one? I'm, I'm actually so scared. Hold on. All right, I need to get through here. Oh my god, there's so many zombies. Whoa, what just happened? What was that? What? Actually, what you, what did I just lunge at? And now I have to waste so many points. Bro, actually, what did it just, like, lunge at? Also, if you guys haven't seen, I'm getting absolutely ripped apart on Twitter right now because of my opinion of this game. I will stand by. I think BO1 is, like, overall, overall my favorite Call of Duty of all time, right? What, what was that? Why does it keep doing that? What is that? But I think Zombies as a standalone experience away from just, away from the entire game, compared to things that come after it in the same franchise, it does not hold up. It's better than the newest things for sure. And I'm not about to go on a whole rant about this game because I've already said it on Twitter. Bro, this game is 14 years old. If you are still that passionate about Black Ops 1 made by Activision Blizzard 14 years after, there's some self-reflection that needs to be happening. I also made the tweet like as a joke because I knew both Nick and Matt really liked BO1, right? And that was more like a jab at them because they put BO1 maps really high on their tier lists. Then this is no fault to FBI psycho at all oh my fucking god i'm just trying to have a conversation here and i have to waste 500 more points and that is my last quick revive oh this is insane but this is no fault to fps psycho at all they responded to my tweet and opened the gates to the hounds bro i'm like damn this was just supposed to be a little jab at these guys who made this tier list it was supposed to be like a little joke if you guys are this passionate about a game that's 14 years old i don't know bro let's uh let's look inside for a second you're getting passionate over the internet about something that came out 14 years ago and it is by no means relevant in any way. Am I the one playing it? Yeah. But it's just because I like zombies as a whole. I don't know, bro. It's nostalgia. Nostalgia is not like a bad thing. Like, I'm not going to rip anybody for being nostalgic about something, but if you're going to rip someone else's opinions because of your own nostalgia based opinions, like shut the fuck up respectfully. Pure nostalgia bait is what it is. But at the same time, let's uh, calm the fuck down, bro. Game is 14 years old. That's enough of the Black Ops 1 rant. We're already, I think, further than we were in World at War, right? Why? Well, I was literally... Oh, I'm literally five feet away, bro. I'm I'm killing this group. Uh-oh. Rut row. I, oh, I'm so dead. 
dead. There's actually no shot. I also, I have the pulls up for easy as Easter egg and I am going to do that. I kind of just wanted a shorter video to edit because the past like three videos besides the tier list video that I've made are so long. Ouch. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Played safe. Regen. Yeah. There's no way I get to the Bowie knife. I don't, I don't have quick revive. There's no shot. I get jug. Get away. Get away. Get away. He almost got me with the double swipe. What? I, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Four rounds, four rounds on black ops one. And now after that shit show, we move on to the next game. And as much as I don't like this map, I think I have a strategy. I'm about to die, bro. Hold on. I think I have a strategy for this map. That is, is I take extreme advantage of the bank. Cause if you didn't play black ops two, or you just haven't played black ops two in a while, all of these maps have a bank system on them. And in that bank system, at least on plutonium, there is an obscene amount of money. And if I can get that obscene amount of money and at the very least get the Boeing knife and jug i will be set uh oh that ended the round didn't want to do that ted can you drive the fucking bus please i should have just teleported i'm actually gonna do that now ted you go you have your little adventure come on denizen hello thank you damn this is not really where i want to be i to jump on my head give me a new portal this is perfect this is exactly where i want to be get off me because now we just get in here i have enough points to open this door right no way you're get oh my god and there's the lava here hold on get off yeah that's right run away stupid bitch all right blow that bad boy open 14k should be enough now we just go back and we get the bowie knife. Uh, I know there's zombies around me, but I can't see them because of the stupid fucking denizen. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I hate denizens. Hello, zombie. Please stay a healthy distance away from me. Pretty please. Okay, zombie there. And now we have a bowie knife. Okay. Okay. This is going to make this so much better. Y'all can call using the bank and transit cheating. I'm just literally the smartest person alive. And I thought of that strategy. Just because you didn't think of it doesn't mean I'm cheating. It just means my brain is fucking humongous. Get off me. Get, get off me. Get off me. Okay. Now we can turn on the power. Then we just get back to town and then once we get back to town we can get jug and stamina up and then we're actually set for a decent amount of time i genuinely feel like bo2 might actually be our best game now we turn on the power release the ava oh the avocado that could be a problem and this is where the strategy falls apart come on avocado i just want to get out of here bro maxis i am not doing the easter egg bro not happening definitely not doing that shit with a knife only i don't even think i can do it with a knife only and now we just get back to town get our jug get our stamina up and we're cruising for the rest of this at least we should be but this is me we're talking about because of my brain's immense size it actually takes a lot longer for thoughts to process that is the only explanation of why my brain is slow is because it's just too big bro the denizen screech actually makes me want to put a hole through my monitor okay grab stamina up and now we grab jug and then there is quite literally not a single other perk that would help us also i'm thinking we just sit in town at least on transit i don't think anywhere else would be better than town so we're just gonna chill here we're gonna thank god for the bank system existing and we're actually gonna do well on black ops 2 also whenever we get to like black ops 3 and black ops 4 like obviously black ops 3 there would be no way for me to actually build the sword like on shadows i mean it would just be obscenely hard in reality but still not gonna do that and then also on black ops 4 i put up a poll like to get everybody's thoughts on it of like if the specialists count as melee but it's so split that at least it was the last time i checked it it was so split that i'm just not gonna use them i probably wasn't gonna use them in the first place but i just wanted to get like a general consensus on it because if you use like the hammer or the path of sorrows i mean technically it's a melee but then at the same time like it's basically a mini wonder weapon that you just recharge so oh boy max ammo oh gee golly we i was running out of ammo in the bowie knife class set up at the end of the video four grip quick draw thermal sight and stock best loadout for bo2 zombies oh 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 Oh, streamers hate my movement. I hate those posts on Twitter so much. And on TikTok, oh my God, bro. People that post like them having a stroke while they're playing Warzone and then saying streamers hate my movement. It's like, no, bro, everybody just hates you, including your family. It's not just streamers, we promise you. Ooh, an insta-kill. Uh-oh. Uh oh, I don't like it here. I don't know, bro. A lot of people like to say like, oh, these people ruin Call of Duty and Warzone. I don't even think it's really them. I think it's more the stigma of if you play like that, that makes you better. When in reality, it makes you significantly worse. That's why everybody that you see that does that shit is using lock on, bro. Or walls. They all get called out for it because they literally can't see what they're doing. Bro, it's not their fault. They just have an aneurysm every time they touch a controller. They can't control that. Okay, we're already on to round six. We're chilling on black ops 2 right now can i can i 
Can I not deposit my money? All right, I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'll definitely get myself killed in there. Oh, and Nuke is actually huge. I think Black Ops 2, in reality, is the only game I'm expecting to do at least kind of well on. And that is just because of the bank system. BO3 might not be that bad with the three hit down system, but bro, I, I will still find a way to get myself killed. Also, does anybody know? If you know the answer to this, just comment it real quick. Whenever you take a step back and knife like that, what is that actually called? Like, is there actually a name for knifing like this? Like the knife strat or like a lunge? cancel. I've just never actually heard the name for it. Or if I have, I just forgot it. I still do it out of habit every time I knife, but I don't know what it's actually called. Honestly, getting past round five is a W in my books. If you don't think it's a W, guess what? Don't care. I didn't ask. Max ammo is fucking ginormous right now, bro. I was almost out of ammo. All right, time to get out of there. Knife, knife. Just for the love of God, do not lunge, please. On transit, where zombies just constantly explode, a single lunge with this Bowie knife will end this. On to round eight, we're actually the best Black Ops 2 player of all time. I'm still confused on why I can't deposit money. Unless in Plutonium, you just have unlimited money in the bank, which I mean, I don't know. I, I would think that Plutonium would do that. Also, if you think that's a little bit cheap, bro, how old is this game? And tell me how in any way, shape, or form that actually matters. Did you guys know that people actually get mad at other people for turning fog off on transit? Which I think is absolutely insane. If I couldn't turn off fog and someone else could, I would get mad for that reason. That, hey, I can't turn off fog. Fog, this is bullshit. But getting mad at someone for turning off the fog on transit to make the experience just a little bit more enjoyable is insane. Look, this is what it looks like without fog. This is what it looks like with fog. Tell me this isn't fucking hideous. And now we're back to no fog. I don't know. One of my least favorite things about transit was always the fog. It's the same thing with Call of the Dead. It's the same thing with the Darkest Shore. I hate maps with low visibility. And I guess, yeah, maybe that adds to the challenge factor. Why in the hell would I want to add to my challenge factor? bro. You know, I enjoy enjoying zombies. If you don't enjoy enjoying zombies, I mean like, that's on you, dog, but I'm chilling. Okay, the bus is coming, kind of screwing us. I'm gonna try and back- Ooh, hold on. The zombies started dropping down on me. What am I talking about? The bus is coming, screwing us. I think this is the last little group of zombies for the rounds. The bus is literally still parked over there, bro. I thought it was turning this corner. Whoopsie daisies. And there we go. We got to my goal. You know, I didn't explicitly say it, but I at least wanted to hit round 10. Obviously, I'm gonna keep going. I think the Bowie knife actually shits itself at round 12. I, I could be wrong, but I swear- Oh, I take it back. It's two hitting right now. I thought I started two hitting at round 12. All right, bus, I'm gonna need you to uh, pick up the pace pretty please so I can have my training spot back. All right. Oh my God, wait, does that actually kill them? Or do they just respawn after that? That just killed like the entire rounds. Oh, a nuke. Okay, die, die. Oh my God, they're all blowing up. Holy shit. Bro, I just got a firecracker thrown at me. Holy shit. On around 11, the Bowie knife is starting to die. Are there Galvan knuckles on like transit? I, obviously I know they're on town, but the Galvan knuckles are usually right here. Personally, I try to erase any knowledge I have on transit out of my mind. So I definitely got to ask like certain questions that may seem obvious to other people. But the less I know about transit, the better. I get how people get nostalgic for transit, right? Like even I here and there. Oh my God. Hold on. Even I here and there get nostalgic for transit as much as I don't like the map. But anything past getting nostalgic for transit, I'm concerned for your well-being. I'm concerned for your mental health. Do I need to give you the hotline? Bro, they're all like one human centipede. Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Oh my God. How am I alive? Look at them. I wish if I blew up a zombie, it would damage the other zombies. I feel like that would make transit a lot more tolerable when it comes to the lava and the exploding zombies. Oh my god, a max ammo. I'm getting more max ammos in a knife only challenge than I've ever gotten in any sort of challenge where I actually needed a max ammo. On to round 12. This is going to be the best game, like at least round count wise, that we do at all. And it's not even going to be close. I also had to look down on my OBS, bro. If I didn't start recording, I would have been so mad. That's like actually the worst thing. Whenever you don't hit record and or you pause the recording and forget to unpause it. Oh my God. Uh-oh. Hold on. Ooh, get through there. Yeah, I'm sure I could look up where to get Galvan Knuckles, but we're, we're in too deep, bro. I don't want them. This Bowie knife has been my best friend and it's going to continue being my best friend until we die. Call me the chain smokers, bro, because if we go down, we go down together. I think that's one of the dumbest fucking jokes I've ever made in my entire life. I think the bus is coming back. Is it a three knife now on round 12? Oh, the bus is back. I still don't know if the bus running over the zombies actually kills them or if it just respawns them. Yeah, this is going to be the longest
strongest part that I have to edit, like by far, because this is actually going well, unlike World at War and Black Ops 1 and probably every other game after this one. Because if you don't do one and done, are you really measuring your skill level? I don't think so. At that point, you're just doing a task. That's the end of the round. We have 36k. I hope to God I'm not fucking this up and like, I just have infinite money in here because I would want to just throw this back in there, bro. If the next time I play Transit, I don't have any money in my bank, I will literally be kicking and screaming and throwing up. The bank is the only thing that makes tra- Oh my God, I'm dead. Oh my God, bro. We were doing so well. Okay, let's try in. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, there's no, no, there's no shot. No, th there's actually no shot. I'm done for. I put myself in a situation too, bro. Holy shit. Oh my God, I'm dead. No, yeah, that's it. Round 13. Oh my God. I was trying to saw some, bro, but I ain't that saucy. That is the end of Black Ops 2. I guarantee this is going to be our best game, but we'll see because now we're going to be moving on to the next game. And now we're on to the greatest thing to ever grace zombies, that being Advanced Warfare. I actually have no idea how Advanced Warfare is going to go. Advanced Warfare is such an awkward game. And I feel like you get that if you've played Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare just feels weird. And then on top of that, the pathing of the zombies in this game is so unbelievably bad. It's actually insane. I'm also recording this after Black Ops 3. Because it recorded Black Ops 2 and went straight to Black Ops 3. Forgot Advanced Warfare even existed. Honestly, kind of happy at myself for that. I wish I could forget Advanced Warfare existed more often. Honestly, just pretend this game didn't happen. And literally right now, all we have to do is get to our exosuit. Our exosuit is basically our Bowie knife. Except it's not as good. I don't think there's anything else in Advanced Warfare that will actually help us with our melee. Besides our exosuit. On the bright side, at least our like first knife stuns the zombies. So that's pretty cool. I think that's where the list ends for cool things in Advanced Warfare. Okay. Okay, hold on. Bro, like, why did he just turn around? What possibly could even trigger that? Oh my God, hold on, hold on. Oh my God, hold on. Jesus, bro, they're, they're, why, where did he come from? Okay, I, I think we should have enough to get to our exosuit. Tell me I've hit none of these zombies two times with my knife. Are these guys regening health? I literally, I swear to God, I just knifed that guy twice. Okay, now we have definitely have enough points to get over here. These I think we do. Oh yeah, we're good. All right, now we turn on the power here and we have our exosuit. Thank Christ. Here are all these a-holes over. Over here. Okay, now at least for a little bit, we can one-shot melee again. Is that all of them? Hello? Okay, the round is switching. Bro, I don't know what's going on with my advanced warfare, but like, I don't have the round change music anymore. I had music disabled. You know, that'll do it. I actually don't know how that happens. Well, hey guys, I figured out what was going on with my advanced warfare. Crazy, am I right? Yo, why did they make, why did they make Shane into like a tweaker, bro? That sound, I know that sound. They're breaking in. Like, what is bro talking about? The one thing I'm worried about for advanced warfare is advanced warfare gets like very, 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 chaotic compared to the other games. So I am a little, little scared. Uh-oh, it's a dog round. Get Exo Health. I can one shot him. Okay, wait, this actually isn't that bad. Are you last? You are last. There we go. Does Exo Soldier affect melee in any way? I mean, might as well get it, bro. I'm not gonna spend my points on anything else. I don't, I don't think it helps melee at all, but hey, we have it. I'm also not gonna get this. I don't even know if Exo Slam is good later on. All right, round six, we're already back to two shots and there's Exo Zombies. This is immediately where it starts going downhill. I, how does that melee miss? Yeah. Yeah. Why are there some? Where did you come from? I yeah, might as well. Oh no. Oh, it bring. Oh my God. Wait. If I get hit by that, that blows. Holy shit, bro. I like the melee range on top of this is also like awful. Oh boy. Double points. Yeah. This is going to get very, very hard. Very, very fast. This is not going to be easy. Coming off of Black Ops 3 with Jug and the Bowie knife where it was very, very easy. This is not a fun experience. Also for IW, I don't think I'm going to play Rave just because like I don't want I don't really want to use melee weapons, like special melee weapons. So I think I'm not gonna, I was gonna play Rave, but I think I'm just gonna play Spacelands. Also same thing with uh, Shaolin, like with the Katana or the Kung Fu. I'm not gonna use either of those. Oh, insta-kill, I need that, bro. Excuse me, bitch. Okay, kill, those two would have been the end of me. All right, okay, okay, back up, back up. I don't know what red screen really looks like in this game because you get hit once or twice and it's red screen. I think this is the end of the round. Oh my God, we're actually through. We're on to round eight. This is huge. Oh no. No, no, this is going to be the round that ends me, bro. One, two. Okay, it's still two. Oh, wait, no. Okay, it's not an I thought it was an infected round. Oh, God. Once we get an infected round, I guarantee that's where I die. I might just die here. I might just die here. Hold on. Bro, it's like impossible to not get hit because this guy's just running at this door. Bro, I'm telling you, this game would not be nearly as bad if the zombie pathing didn't suck dick. Like, that is my, that is my real 
big problem with advanced warfare zombies is just there is no rhyme or reason whatsoever to how zombies move in this game i need to remember i have my camouflage too max ammo does nothing for me uh oh oh my god that's an insta kill hold on okay jump back over grab this oh what i actually just went down bro i like i don't know i i i actually hate red screen on this game because every time you get hit it looks like red screen there's like barely any way to tell when you're actually about to die we have ten thousand points to just buy quick revive again though so that's cool you know i'll give advanced warfare I'll, I'll give it i'll give it like a little a little cool point as much as i still don't like the game i do like that when you go down since the perks are built into the exosuits themselves when you go down the only thing you lose is exomedic but you keep your other perks what is this room actually called main hub nah this is the circle room bro it's just a big fucking circle i just at least i want to get through this round i want to hit round 10 will i do that probably not but i want to whoa holy shit what oh my god i just have to slowly kill him bro hold on what i might do let's pop this camo and let's kill these rebooting ones actually let's kill you too i don't know where the other rebooting one went i know there was another one my camouflage is done damn damn traps in this game are brutal bro grab this nuke okay we made it to round 10 i'm happy with that anything anything after this is bonus oh this is it no this is it this is the end it's been nice knowing you bro i just have to play this like a souls game i gotta parry these fuckers look at this bro they're going for the swing parry parry oh shit parry parry oh shit parry no i'm dead no there's no way i gotta get over here i'm dead come on a holes i know there's one coming from over there parry parry oh shit I didn't parry it. Nah, no, this is it. I'm done. How am I alive? Bro, look how many there are. What am I supposed to do? Oh, nice. I don't know if this actually kills them or not. Nah, no shot. No shot. I'm dead again. Oh, how to get out of that? Holy shit. Oh my god. How did I live that, bro? That is pure luck that I made it out of that alive. The whole hood jumped me, bro. Everyone. Oh, no. This is it. It's a it's a three melee now, bro. This is not happening. And it doesn't... Oh my god. And it doesn't stun him until... Nah, it doesn't even stun him until a second hit either. Oh, bitch. Like, sweat my dick off in Advanced Warfare Zombies bro hey you bitch holy shit i just have to like pick at them or i'm dead oh no I, also if i get hit, oh no this is it this is wraps oh this is wraps oh this is wraps no this is wraps bro i like i don't even know if i'm regening or not i brother you jesus fucking christ die 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 nah bro zombie mob bro what did you just say heads up guys here comes a zombie mob oh no i i need my exo back i do no damage with my knife what did i just get smited by zeus bro what was that Okay, bro. I can't even hit him. I mean, I guess I could like melee boost backwards melee Ooh, I don't want to be up here boost back. This is gonna take so unbelievably long, bro I'm actually so focused. I haven't said a word in so long. Uh Oh, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here I don't want to be here. Who are you? How are you a crawler? What is going on, bro? Rut bro. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro What is the melee range in this? Oh my god. We're actually almost at the end of the round. Holy shit Oh my god. How are these assholes still a lot? How are you still alive bro there we go oh my god that's round 12 that was the run that was the longest round of my life this is it no th th this is the round right there's no way we can keep this up come on blow up do your thing can you guys do your thing and just blow up oh no oh no oh oh no i'm dead okay that's it round 12 i'll take round 12 i did not think i was gonna get that far but that is advanced warfare i don't hate that but now we're moving on to the next game and now we're on to black ops 3 and on black ops 3 i am not gonna be using any of my credit crazy gobble gums also there is literally no point for me to start picking shit up i mean i definitely need to shot quick revive but i i think that's really it my one goal for shadows of evil is to get to the boxing ring in the boxing ring there's the bowie knife and as long as i can get to the bowie knife oh my god the margua um and now we're on to black ops 3 no, i'm definitely leaving that part in the video i just will never have an excuse to play shadows of evil will i i'm never gonna be able to play that map again this is the only base map on black ops 3 that that doesn't have a special zombie that I would have to deal with. So we're going to be playing the giant. Even though we already played Darice, we'll probably get a lot further in this than we did in Darice. I say that now. I'm going to screw myself. I don't know why I speak. Watch me die literally this round. But our same goal is we just need to get back over there and we need to buy the Bowie knife. Also, luckily in Black Ops 3, it is a lot easier to do this knife trick. Again, I still don't know what this is actually called. Also, we have the three hit down system. So that's definitely a bonus. Okay, 750, 750. No, we can't open up all the way over there yet. I'm 
just gonna wait until I can open up all the way over here to sit there because I do not want to be stuck here and I do not want to be stuck in there. That is like worst case scenario. It is so weird not shooting my gun. At oh my god. Die, die, die. I need to use this double points like to its maximum ability, bro. Oh boy. Max ammo. Okay, we have so many points now. I think that's also last zombie. So let's start opening up through here. Oh my god, we're actually so close to the Bowie knife. We need a thousand five hundred more points and we can open this door and get the Bowie knife simultaneously. And once we do that, I think we're actually set. Ooh, but quick revive. Better safe than sorry. We're gonna quick. We're gonna get quick revive. Speed cola doesn't help me. I also didn't check over there. Jug is right through here too. So we're set. We're good. On round four, there's still three knife kills, right? Like it takes three hits with a knife. I'm asking you guys this, like I'm gonna get an answer as I'm playing this. I'm more just asking myself, trying to remember. Bro, again, I, I'm like, I'm not even gonna entertain the people that talk about Black Ops 1 anymore. Like I'm just not gonna respond to them. But it is so funny how big of a switch up people are having about Zombie Chronicles, like as of recently. Don't know when this happens, but all of a sudden people hate Zombie Chronicles. Like they weren't begging, begging for Zombie Chronicles. Came out, everybody, it's like the best selling DLC of all time. Everybody fucking loved it. Now all of a sudden everybody hates all the maps on Zombie Chronicles. I don't know, bro. Again, I'm I'm just not responding to these people, but people act like everybody has the memory of Dory. But we have our Bowie knife, so we're at least set for the time being. I don't know, bro. Maybe Black Ops, maybe Black Ops 3 will actually be good. Because I mean, we already got our Bowie knife. We have Quick Revive. We just have to save up for Jug. The only thing that sucks is whenever I'm like doing high rounds on this map, I, I sit in here. I guess I still can. It's just annoying when you have zombies spawning from over here. I'm also guessing the Bowie knife is like the same thing. At round 10, it'll probably start two hitting. Okay, grab this nuke. Hopefully this will end the round. We have enough points for Jug, so grab this. I also have no idea what perks in the snow. I wish there was like a little bit poking out, you know? Like just let me know if that Easter egg is worth doing or not. Just just poke out, poke out the little daiquiri or poke out the little top of stamina. And if it's stamina up, I'll get it. Dogs are also so much easier to deal with in this game. Also, dog rounds are going to be basically a free round just handed to us. But we're on to round seven. Did we die on 12 or 13 in BO2? I think it was 13. There's also like nothing else we can really buy because the only two perks that we have left are double tap or speed cola. And those do not help. Oh my God, another max ammo. Holy shit. That's my Black Ops 3 luck, bro. Like, obviously, I don't need the max ammo right now, but I always get max ammos, like the ones that spawn naturally. I always get them right after dog rounds. But speed cola doesn't help us. Double tap doesn't help us. So we're kind of chilling with what we got, which makes it very nice if we go down, we just have to buy those two back. Also, we got Jug and Quick Revive in like the most convenient spots. Literally, you have Quick Revive right there. Literally, you have Jug right here. Are you last? No? Where's the other a-hole? Where are you stumbling about? There he is. Are you you're not last either? Damn, bro. I thought you guys said these maps are so different. Anything remastered in Black Ops 3 is so different. That's that's some World at War zombie spawns right there. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Don't want to jinx myself, but I feel very safe and secure. We have backup points, we have perks, we have the Bowie knife. And these are Black Ops 3 zombies, so on round eight, they're still disgustingly slow. At least majority of them are disgustingly slow. I hear him back over. Oh, there he is. Is there another one? Oh, I saw his feet. How are you just getting through there? Okay, on round nine. On round nine, the Bowie knife is still one-shotting. So we're up. Oh, nuke. And the round, and the round, and the round. I've killed half of it. Now we're on round 10. From here, it can either, from here, either it can go downhill, or we're gonna still be up tremendously. Okay, it does not one-shot anymore. I am going to pick this up and immediately put it away, because that, I feel like, is cheating. Oh shit, oh shit, hold on. Let's not get stuck on that. How'd I get stuck on that corner, bro? What did I get stuck on here? Oh, ruh oh, Don't lunge. Do not lunge. Okay, now we officially have to start grouping up the zombies. They're still very, very slow. I mean, this still isn't very hard at all, but it's gonna be a lot more more time consuming. Don't lunch. No way. Is there still another zombie, bro? I was training this horde for how long? Where are you? Are you, but don't tell me he's about to come through there, right? You actually have to be kidding. Where did you come from? What were you doing that entire time? Where could you have possibly spawned that it took you that long to get over here? Okay. As long as this still one shots the dogs, which I think it should, this should be another free round. And then we're on to 12. Okay. It does. So round 11 is actually free. Hey, yeah. Pull. So as long as we can beat this round, we're tied with Black Ops 2. I think we also got here a lot faster than we did on Black Ops 2. No, you know what game might actually be really easy too? Oh my god, I was not paying attention. Okay, we need to go get Jug immediately. Ouch. Okay, as I was trying to say, oh Jesus, excuse me. As I was trying to say, what game also might be very, very easy is Cold War. Is Cold War we're gonna be loading in with the combat knife. And since I have the super Easter egg done on Cold War, I spawn in with it purple. We're gonna be getting the maximum amount of points possible. No, Cold War is gonna be very 
very easy. Unless I just play Cold War really dumb. So it is confirmed at this point, as long as you can get to a Bowie knife and buy said Bowie knife, melee only is very, very easy to at least hit round 10. I mean, no shit, but still. Also on Black Ops 4, I think I have a little bit of wiggle room because on Black Ops 4, I have my bayonet on my strife. Ooh, insta-kill and a nuke. Grab this nuke, save that insta-kill. There we go, we're tied with BO2. If we can beat this round, we beat BO2. Why are these zombies silent, bro? That is creepy as hell. Usually the zombies are annoyingly loud. Unless I do something drastic, this is so far very, very easy. Ooh, there, ooh. I need to stop talking. As soon as I start talking, I start doing shit like that. Again, not picking up the death machine. That's kind of cheating. There we go, we beat Black Ops 2. Again, bro, I, I would have done this on Shadows if that Margla didn't exist. I feel like the Bowie knife is also getting more screen time than it has in like a decade. Because outside of doing something like this, why would you ever buy a Bowie knife? Like genuine question. Outside of doing a knife only challenge, I guess if you're doing a high round, right? Well, I mean, maybe. But even then, that's still doing like a, a one box or a two box challenge. You buy a Bowie knife. So if you run out of ammo, you at least have that. So it doesn't take as long to knife kill zombies. Hold on. Ooh. Oh, oh no. Oh my God. You're fucking kidding, bro. Why are they silent? Like, and then when I go down, they're annoyingly fucking loud. No, he quite literally did sneak up on me, bro. Okay, but we're on our last quick revive, so this is not good. Okay, lead all these assholes through here and then cut over here. There we go. You die. Oh boy, double points. So this is our second to last life. We have one down left. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, technically two downs left. These couple assholes left. And there we go. We're on to round 15. Like, bro, when they're spawning in, they're disgustingly loud. Then this a-hole just screaming in the back of my ear when I'm looking at him. But as soon as I turn around, they're just silent, bro. They're silent coming from that direction. Oh my God. What is that? What is that? Is that a... Oh, that's a nuke! I don't think that's gonna end the round, but that's going to get rid of most of the rounds, which is very, very nice. Can you guys die? Get out of here, bro. That will get rid of most of the round, though. Uh-oh, hold on. Woo! Oh, there's still so many more. What? Is there actually still that many zombies left in the round? I think these are the last two. There we go. On to round 16. I did not think we were going to crush Black Ops 2 like this. I mean, it is Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3, difficulty-wise, was definitely scaled down in comparison. When it comes to, like, a survival aspect of this game, the Easter eggs, I feel like, were definitely scaled up to a degree. Uh-oh. It two shots dogs now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm red screened. Hold on. I hear him behind me. I hear him behind me. I hear him behind me. Just regen. There we go. Oh, my God. Why was... Uh, bro, a dog round was hard. This is a about to be wraps. I'm letting you guys know that now. Oh boy, it's three shotting. Yeah, this is this is where it might be wraps. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I backed myself into a corner. Yeah, this is gonna take. This is gonna take forever, bro. I am curious of like what the best maps on every game for this challenge is. I feel like Black Ops 3, it's gotta be the giant, right? Like if we're just talking about base maps, cause it doesn't have any special zombies and it just has the dogs. And then even arguably with Chronicles, cause Shang has the special zombies. Moon, I mean, just has the Spaceman, but it has the Nova Crawlers too. Kino, it takes a while to get to the Bowie knife. And then on top of that, it has the annoying, uh, no. When you kill a Nova Crawler with a knife, it doesn't blow up. So, I mean, maybe Kino's in the running, but unless, oh no, oh no, oh Oh no, oh no, hold on. What did I just get stuck on? Bro, every time I turn around, I'm just looking down the barrel. What is that? What is that? What is that? A carpenter? Oh boy. Man, I don't know what I would have done if I didn't get a carpenter there. God, if I got an insta-kill? Ew. Or a nuke? Gross. I hate those things. Pick you up, put you away. Oh boy, and then a max ammo. On around 18, I feel like if I get to round 20, I'm probably just gonna call it there. Just because this is taking a long time for every round. Realistically, from that point, I could probably go on for the foreseeable future. Just every round would get drastically longer and I would have to play the rounds like not dumb every single time. I've been knifing these zombies for so long. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh my God, I forgot about something. Bro, I might've forgot that Advanced Warfare exists. I'm recording this after Black Ops 2. Uh-oh, oh my God, I'm not gonna use this. I don't have a quick revive left. So I just need to Instagram jug. Ruh row. ouch. Nope, drop down the hole, drop down the hole. Holy shit. Uh, oh no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh boy, a double points. That's exactly what I needed. Okay, 18 is done. Oh my god. Goodbye, quick revive. You will be missed. Still makes the sound. I'm gonna have to dick you down on some gangster shit. Bro, I hate that fucking meme. It's so fucking dumb. So I just have to not die this round. And as long as I don't die this round, I get to 20, which I was trying to hit. Gross, bro. Been recording Black Ops 3 for over 30 minutes. I mean, to be fair, a little bit of that was Shadows and restarting and getting on to the giant. But that was only a couple minutes. It's still over 30 minutes. For over 30 minutes, I've... Ooh! Oh my god. For over 30 minutes, I've just been hitting my mouse button over and over and over and over again. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Bro, those zombies 
enemies are fucking silent. Like, they don't make a running sound. They don't do a little scream. Like, I saw him, but he's not making any noise. These zombies actually have Ninja Pro on, bro. Hello. That guy just died. Please tell me this is the last group of zombies. Oh, I see him spawning in. Oh, hello. Oh my god, bro. Can I get, like, a nuke or an insta-kill or something? Just got another carpenter. Then right before that, we got a double points. Don't lunge. All right, I think this is it. I think this is the last little group. We die on this last... Oh, no, I'm just grabbing the nuke. And there we go. That is round 20 on Black Ops 3. I'm gonna call it there. Again, I don't think I could go for the foreseeable future, but bro, we've been recording Black Ops 3 for 40 minutes now. I am moving on to the next game. And now we're on to Infinite Warfare. And I honestly have no idea how this one's gonna go. Obviously, for this, I turned off my director's cut. I feel like that would just be, like, a little bit too easy, you know? And I'm just gonna be using, like, this base melee. So not playing Rave, not playing anything with melee weapons. The only game that I'm breaking that rule is Cold War. Because I'm just gonna spawn him with a combat knife, not have a weapon, only use that. That, I genuinely feel like, is the only game that's going to pass Black Ops 3. I honestly don't think Infinite Warfare is going to go all that well, but honestly, who knows? I'm definitely gonna start opening up towards Jug. Once I get Jug, I'll feel a lot safer. It's just so expensive. IW Zombies is so expensive. That's why Director's Cut is so good. You start with 25k. You can basically open the entirety of every map and pack a bunch of Kendall's with Director's Cut every single time. Oh shit, let's not go down on round three, bro. Also, it is kind of weird, like, switching between games, because this range that you can do the knife trick on is, like, different between every single game. Like, you have, like, a crazy range to do it on Black Ops 3, but for IW, you have to be relatively close. Advanced Warfare, you literally have to be giving them a kiss. Ooh, I don't think I grabbed that nuke. I want to progress, but I also need points. Hold on, let's see. I can grab it now, because there's only that one zombie left. We can open up over here, we can turn on power, and now we're at Jug. We just need the points for Jug. Does IW have a perk that increases melee damage? Oh my god, I just had an idea for Black Ops 4. I mean, you guys can probably guess what it is based on what I just said. Okay, hold on. Let's chill out. Ooh, hello. I don't like that you guys are directly behind me. Ooh! Oh, 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 we're so close to Jug. We're so close to Jug. I think they're, these two are both one. Nope, you're not. What? Chat, why he do that? Okay, can we get Jug, actually? Yeah, grab this. Grab Tough Enough. Now I can take a little bit more damage before I get red screened. Why, why do you, why, why, why she got infinite spoons? Because her spoon keeps breaking, right? And then she drops it and then pulls another spoon out of her ass. Where, where are these spoons coming from? Why does one have so many spoons? Ooh, this might suck, because these guys explode. Does that count as them dying though, or do they just like infinitely respawn if you don't kill them? Ooh, this is, this is gonna suck. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, so they blow up and it counts as them dying. I mean, I could go down low and try and get racing stripes. I think that's what I'll do. There, there's really like nothing else I can get. Oh my God, how many, did that just take, did that just take five, one, Two, three, four, five. Oh, oh God. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is, bro, this is, this is gonna be bad. At least on every other game, I had the opportunity to up my melee damage. Ouch, ouch, ouch. All right, there's a couple zombies here. Just a few, just a couple pals. Woo, woo, woo. Bro, IW zombies also have like a crazy reach. That's the other thing that sucks. This is a shorter melee range than like, than most of the other games, excluding Advanced Warfare. And these zombies have a crazy reach. Oh bro, this is gonna suck. Oh wait, I'm red screened. I looked away for half a second and I was red screened. I don't even know what zombies I've hit. They're all kind of spread out now. Like at least right now, it's not like really that hard because they're all slow. Oh my God, I forgot about the big guy. That's gonna be when I die. I literally can't kill him. Ooh, I'm backed up against something. Hello, what the fuck, why are you there? The regen in IW is like relatively fast though. Thank God, Whoa. why are we so split up? Max ammo, hell yeah. This might actually be the longest round six I have ever done. I have to have hit you guys at least a couple times, right? Maybe once or twice. I haven't hit that guy at all, apparently. Okay, before we end this round, get racing stripes. And I, I actually don't think that there's anything else that will help us. This is the last zombie. There you are. All right, we're on to round seven. This is not gonna go well. If we don't die this round, our cutoff is absolutely gonna be nine or 10 whenever the big boy spawns. Four, five. Okay, it's still five. I mean, five is insane, but ouch. Still only five. They're also starting to move faster. Glad I got racing stripes. Woo woo. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ouch. Yay. 
Yay. I just need to like slowly put damage on all of them, bro. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't lunch. Wee, excuse me. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, yeah, bro. This is, uh, this, this is gonna be wraps. Oh, damn, damn. There's, there's another one. I think we've killed two zombies this round. The hell was that noise? So I also haven't really done like a challenge video, like something specific like this in a while. And usually for these videos, I ask questions. And with this being as far as I can get with just using melee, what is your guys' favorite map to high round on? Or at least like try and go for high rounds. It doesn't matter like what it is. Your high round could be 12, bro, for all I care. But what's your favorite map to like do like survival or high rounds on? I think as much as I shit on Black Ops 1, I think my favorite high round map is probably Kino. I think it's Kino. I would say Kino or Shadows. What would you guys say your favorite is? Oh my God, a max ammo. That's huge. I could have used that in my uh, Easter egg video whenever I had no ammo because I lost my wonder weapon. No, no, no. Oh my God, I actually just went down. It lunged. It lunged like three times in a row. I mean, there's nothing I can really grab from here, but I need to grab Quick Revive. Bro, like, I wish this music wasn't copyrighted. Like, using Tainted Love as a background song would go so hard. Okay, now we need to go get Jug again. And then we also need to go get Racing Stripes again. Excuse me. And then once we get these two, we're back to where we were. About to rip through all of our points that we have, though. So if we go down again, we're we're done. Like, yeah, I can get up and atoms again, but, like, I won't have Jug. I won't have Racing Stripes. Grab Racing Stripes. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five. I think since I died, all of their health's reset, too. Okay, I need to get past these zombies. Hold on. I'm just gonna get back up top. Oh, hello. Is that one of the police fuckers? No? Why'd it make that noise, then? hey yeah, hey yeah, hey yeah. Hello. There's just more zombies appearing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We made it through round seven. We're on round eight. What's good, Neil? You're staying here, bro. You are not moving. Two, three, four, five five, six. Oh, Christ. Bro, it takes six melees to kill one zombie. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's insane. Bro, if I even beat round eight, I'll be happy at this point. This is taking forever. Oh, no, don't lunch. Excuse me. There's also already so many zombies. Okay, I just need to keep picking at them, bro, and then I'm good. But I'm having, like, the same problem I had with Advanced Warfare. The melee range is just not that great. Oh, boy, a carpenter. Let me slow down the round even more. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I'm actually about to fall asleep. Oh, no, I picked up the carpenter. At least I'm slowly picking at every zombie now. Oh, I got stuck on Black Ops 1. Bro, if God forbid Big Boy does not spawn on round 9, I am calling it at round 10. This is so boring. Would I die past that? Probably, yeah. Oh my god. Will I die as soon as the big guy spawns? Oh, I got stuck on Black Ops 1 again. Yes, I'm going to die as soon as the big boy spawns, bro. It's it's actually not happening. I've also been recording IW for 25 minutes now. I started the recording as soon as I loaded in and started talking. And we're on round 8. In 25 minutes, we're on round 8. And hey, that's not horrible if I was doing like Easter egg steps, right? Because I was doing something like productive that whole time. I've been doing nothing but poking zombies with a spoon. I think these are the last two, please. Oh, Jesus, what the fuck? No, there's still two more, bro, what? We're on to round nine. Yeah, this is, th this round is probably it. This is gonna be the round that uh, finishes us up. This is gonna be the round that finishes us up. I can't speak. This is going to be the round that finishes us off. Oh no, oh my fucking God. Why did it lunge into that? Willard Weiler, shut the fuck up, you stupid bitch. I mean, I can't get my perks back. Thank God. Oh, I forgot to grab up and Adams. This is my last up and Adams, too. Yeah, bro, I am telling you. After this round, if Big Boy spawns next round, we're done. That's it. The end. I already said I was going to call it on round 10, but if Big Boy spawns on round 10, you know, I will try and box the man. Excuse me, excuse me. Grab racing stripes and let's see if we can't skirt. Oh, shit. Oh, oh no. Oh no, oh my god, oh my god, that wasn't smart. Oh, this wasn't smart. I'm dead. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. I should have grabbed Jug first. Willard Weiler, I'm gonna rip your dick off. Shut up. Oh my show. Oh. oh boy, pick up my Kindle that I already had in my hands. All right, go get Jug first and then get Ration Stripes. And that is all we can get. Not having Jug is actually detrimental to this challenge. Pick up Tough Enough. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. And pick up Ration Stripes. The only problem is, is now I don't have enough points to get back the other way. I mean, maybe with Jug, I can get past all these guys. Come on. Meow. Oh my god, bro. Skirt the f- Uh-oh. Ooh. Gotta skirt the fuck out of all of them. What are you doing here? Excuse me. We made it out. I'm pretty sure all the zombies health reset though. I was making so much good work. No, we're done for. We're done for. This is it. Why are you the one zombie that's still walking? At least most of them are at a light jog, bro. You are just like still- You too. No, don't. Don't lunge. Please. Poke, 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 p -p 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 poke, poke. Why are you here? Oh my god, bro. Why are there so many behind me? Where did you just come? 
come from. Bro just walked out of the teleporter. Oh my god. I need some more caffeine after this shit. I actually just let out the biggest fucking yawn. This is putting me to sleep. At least in IW, we got tunes, bro. So I think it was for the one or two box challenge, but I had to do something very, very similar to this on Kino. Except imagine this, but on round 30. It was like round like 27, 28. Whenever I ran out of ammo because not a single weapon in Black Ops 1 has any sort of ammo at all. I just had to sit here and do this on round 27, 28. I ended up getting to round 30 and I think I just called it at round, round 30, but this shit literally melts my brain. I got no valleys or bumps left, bro. Just all smooth brain. Oh my God. I need this. Please end the round. End the round, please. Please. It's not switching. This is not ending the round. Please only give me like a handful. Just give me a handful of zombies. Let me get to round 10. I'm already accepting my fate at round 10. I just want to get to round 10. Oh, is it just you? Please let it just be you. That'd be pretty cool. I see another one. I hear another one behind me, I'm pretty sure. Or is it just you two? Last time I said this, another one wandered out, so. Oh my god, we made it. We made it. Somehow we made it to round 10. Oh, it's a clown round. Do I just bait them all to explode? They explode. They don't all explode on me immediately. That's not cool. Oh my god, there's so many. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hate it here. There was no reason to make these assholes clowns, bro. It's just these last two. Oh my god, we actually made it to round 11. That's crazy. Just gotta bait the clown rounds. Come on, just spawn big boy. Let me box him and he's gonna kill me. I just wanna box the big man. There he is. Box the big man. Oh, fuck. Damn, bro. Can I, can you even mail it? He's, bro, he's beating the fuck out of the actual zombies. No, you can't use a laser, bro. This is a boxing match. This is like an actual depiction of what Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson's gonna be, bro. Look like, I'm Jake Paul, that's Mike Tyson. Watch. Yeah, no, nah, that's it. That's that's the end. Yeah, just end the game. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Mike Tyson's gonna shoot a laser out of his, out of his forehead and disintegrate Jake Paul. But Infinite Warfare is done. Now we are moving on to the next game. And now we're on to Black Ops 4. And my idea for Black Ops 4 is I put Ethereal Razor on. So whenever I grab that perk, it increases my melee damage. And then on top of that, I have my strife with my bayonet. Bro, I'm like, I'm, my brain is huge. Obviously, I'm not going to use anything on the right. I'm not going to use any of my elixirs. I mean, none of them would really help me all that much, but I'm still just not going to use them. I actually don't know how BO4 is going to go. It could go really good or it could go really bad, especially with this strife and with Ethereal Razor. Also, already went over this, not using specialist either, because like technically it's melee, but at the same time, technically it's like a baby wonder weapon. Also, already probably pretty deep in the video, but I'm trying to record at a higher bit rate, which if you don't know anything about recording, that doesn't mean anything to you, but it's basically like the quality that you record your videos at. Obviously, it makes the files bigger, but at the same time, it'll up the quality of them. So by my calculations, and hopefully I'll see it when I'm editing, this one bitch crisp. Oh, it's in, fuck, it's in Danu. Please tell me it's only 3K and I can buy it. It's 4,000 points. I think like unironically my favorite character to play as is Scarlet just because I feel like you actually get more story from Scarlet than you do from the other characters. The other characters have like funny voice lines but whenever you go somewhere on a map and you're playing as Scarlet she actually like gives you a little bit of information. I think the other characters are definitely like funnier but I don't know I like the story. Story pretty nice. I actually don't know if Ethereal Razor even works with this now that I'm using it. Like here just for gits and shiggles. Obviously I'm not going to use this so let's buy this. Let's buy this and then you see how there's like it like makes my melee into this like massive fucking thing so we have that i again i don't think it works with this but whenever the strife starts not working like the bayonet for it if anything we'll just switch over to this and just melee i don't remember when this melee actually stops one-shotting right now right now is when it stops one-shotting do you still one shot you do beautiful i think also if you like do the whole melee trick yeah it sweeps so i can melee more than one zombie at once also we have the points too let's grab stamina up stamina up is the best perk of all time that should end the round there we go we're on to round six yeah i mean so far at least it's very very easy but it will ramp up very fast i'm also very concerned about the special zombies on this map once i get a blight father it's actually over. I think the early rounds of Black Ops 4 actually progress like relatively fast. Once you get like further down the line, it definitely slows down. But early on, bro, oh my god, it actually goes so fast. It's so nice. Damn, your melee range is crazy with this. I don't think, unless I've gotten it from a perkaholic, I don't think I've ever used Ethereal Razor. Like actually, damn. I mean, don't get me wrong, Dying Wish is amazing, but 5k? Holy shit. Round 6 is done. We're on to round 7. Ethereal Razor also makes your knife have like almost a lightsaber sound. 
sound, bro. This shit is so sick. Yeah, I think my biggest problem is gonna be special zombies because as of right now, this is still one-shotting sometimes. So it looks like if I actually like lunge, it one-shots like that. But if I do that sweep, it two shots. But being able to do that sweep and hit multiple zombies at once is so worth it. Also grab Dying Wish. And then the last perk that we need is Quick Revive. And how much is Quick Revive? 2K? Oh, hell yeah. I'll just put Quick Revive on because again, at kissing distance to these zombies, not even just like a peck, like, like French in them, bro. Please tell me the lunge still one shots. It does. Double points is cool, I guess. Okay, we officially have all the perks. Oh, hello. I didn't even realize that. Uh-oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my God, wait, it actually like three or four shot him. That was not bad. I mean, it's round eight, but still. Yeah, being able to do this and hit multiple zombies with this swing is so good. It's also round nine. Damn, we're on round nine. We've only, we've only been recording for nine minutes. Open this up, get back to the center, or at least have a way back to the center. I'm not gonna test it, right? But if you pack a punch the strife, does it actually increase the bayonet damage or no? Like, does that scale with the pack a punch level? I've literally never tested that, so I have no idea. Yeah, I think this is by far the fastest round 10 so far. Ethereal Razor is actually really good for this. So I got the strategies on deck. Still one-shotting on round 10, Jesus. I think it also heals you, doesn't it? Hello, ooh, hello. Oh damn, hold on, I am hurt. Bro, what does Quick Revive do in this game? That regen was not faster. Like obviously, oh, Quick Revive, it makes you, it makes you revive quicker. Well, no shit, what, what the hell does it do for solo players? Okay, definitely takes a little bit more to kill him. I mean, it's actually not that bad. I mean, we're on round 10, now round 11, but still, it is really not that bad. So apparently there's a Bowie knife on this map? Hold on, it's in the burial chamber. I didn't even know there was a Bowie knife in this game. I'm gonna be real. It is, it's right here. So how does, oh my, wait, hold on. BO4 might be a lot easier than I thought. Hold on, I say that and I almost get cornered. Okay, wait, this Bowie knife actually made Ethereal Razor even better. Okay, so we're we're chilling for a little bit. I didn't even know there was a Bowie knife on this map. I'm like, you know what, for gets and shiggles, let me look it up really quick. Let's see if there's a Bowie knife on this map. Lo and behold, there was. Ouch. Oh, there's another fire bastard, bro. Yeah, this sweep is back to one-shotting on round 12, bro. That's actually kind of crazy. It's kamikaze, bro. Yeah, the sweep has so much range, too. And there's round 13. Bro, I thought Ethereal Razor was going to be good, but it's actually kind of really fucking good. Would I ever use it outside of this challenge? Absolutely fucking lutely not. For this challenge, it's great. Yeah, let's see how it does against the special zombies. Three. Four. Five? Five is not that bad for a knife, bro. And he's dead. Bro, wait, this is actually kind of good. Like, don't get me wrong, I never really use... No, I'm sorry. It's not that I never really use. I never use Ethereal Razor. So, like, I don't really know about this perk at all. This sweep that it does with the melee and the range that it gives the melee is actually so nice. Okay, I think the sweep is back to two-shotting. But on round... Ooh, fire! But on round 14, that's not bad at all. With a lunge, I can still one-shot. Okay, hold on, we're actually getting kind of hurt. For a challenge like this where I've had to, like, individually knife the zombies being able to kill a horde of zombies with like a quarter to the knife swings is actually amazing even if it doesn't do a ton of damage but even then it oh no all right this this uh this might be where it wraps unless this for some Ooh, get away from me bro i don't like it here yeah close off that weapon but oh no whatever am i gonna do okay double points kind of does nothing for me i have 28k right now hold on hold on get Oh, I'm in my dying wish. Oh my god, wait. It like four or five shot him. I mean, that against a Blightfather is a lot, having to be that close to him. But still, you really don't get a Blightfather that often. Oh god, three, bro. And that wasn't even a third lunge. How is that hitting me? Come on, do your bullshit. Bro, wait. Why is this actually like decent? That... That's crazy. There we go. There's round 17. I feel like there's a lot of people who either A, don't even know Ethereal Razor exists, or B, forgot it existed. Because honestly, unless, like if I wasn't playing custom maps, I probably would have forgot it existed. Okay, there's a lot of these assholes. Okay, Fire Sail does nothing for me. Hello. Ooh, hello. Oh my god, give me the nuke. All of you die. You're not gonna die, but I can just kill you. There we go. He's dead. All right, give me the rest of the zombies. Bro, the craziest part is, is that the special zombies aren't even bad. It's just the catalyst zombies that are annoying. Like specifically the the poison ones because you can't oh my god hold on i don't have my dying wish i would actually go down because you can't get close to them because they fart on you when they fart on you you die uh oh uh oh this might be oh my god bro on round 18 this still one shotting with a lunge is actually crazy what is that what is that what is that does this work like cold war oh, i don't fucking know i'm not gonna be able to find out in cold war when you grab an insta kill it actually does more damage to the special zombies oh god i wanted to just grab an insta kill i did not want to fight the armada bro wait what this is so good i should probably get a shield built get fucking circled bro i play souls games there's another one and even if he hits me bro whenever i knife him i get the health back that i lost because the real razor also heals you i think black ops 4 for the 
sake of recording and editing. If I get to round 20, I am happy with that. So after this round, if I complete this round, I so that might be an issue. All right. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm trying to kill the blue one, but oh my God, it makes him so much stronger. What is that? Double points? Yeah, uh, I have 48,000 fucking points. I'm okay. Okay, I need to chill for a second. I said I need to chill for a second and then I went back for melees. I'm my own worst enemy, bro. Holy shit. Oh, nope, this might be it. Oh shit, wait. I need this. Okay, I don't give a shit about any of that. Did not mean to melee you with that. I need to get stamina up again. I still have one self res, right? Okay, bro. Where in the fuck is this water one? Right there. Okay, water one's dead. Think. God. Okay, I made it to round 20, but I still have this. Oh, bro, I'm gonna die to him. No, I gotta kill this blight father. Oh, no. Nah, bro. I'm going for him. I'm going for him. I don't even care what happens. I'm going for him. Where'd this asshole go? Where'd you go, dickwad? Oh, there you are. Bitch. You're dead. You're dead. No, I'm dead. Okay, round 20. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with round 20. And that is Black Ops 4. And now we move on to the next game. And now we're on to Cold War. I feel like Cold War is definitely gonna be different from the rest just because the melee weapons are actually good in this game. Like the combat knife is actually pretty decent. And then on top of that, obviously with the super Easter egg, it's already purple. Who knows if Rampage Inducer is actually a good idea? No, it's not. 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 I need to turn it off immediately. Okay, that's the end of that round. I need to turn it off, bro. The only other thing that's nice is we are getting quite literally the most amount of points that we can possibly get using this thing. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the high round strap for D machine, like to get set up as fast as possible is to come in with a combat knife. I remember originally when this map came out, that is what everybody did. Everybody just loaded in with a combat knife, built up an absurd amount of points, you don't have to get headshots you just have to get the melee kills and this one shot's even base for a while i'm like 99 percent sure that's what everybody used to do but i think cold war is like actually by far going to be the easiest game obviously black ops 3 like went well but cold war is already a very easy zombie game i think arguably probably the easiest in probably the easiest in the franchise and i don't exactly think that's like a bad thing i feel like a lot of people like kind of say cold war is bad because of how easy it is but at the same time i don't know i feel like cold war is probably the one zombie game out of this entire list besides maybe black ops 3 with custom maps obviously but we're, if we're talking base zombies i think cold war is probably the only one i would play casually i also never hated cold war zombies i kind of just fell off of it because because of like outbreak like i really i'm still really not a fan of outbreak i get how people can like it just not my cup of tea personally and then by the end of cold war's life cycle i was kind of just playing Warzone. also i know that you can get a free jug i can't get a free jug i have a knife i think the only other perk that i like really really need is quick revive if you don't know why quick revive increases your health regen with me having to get like smooching distance from the zombies at any given point to kill them having a faster regen is going to be a godsend oh boy max ammo i was running out of ammo bro actually huge i do also need armor bro none of these zombies have dropped armor i think at the very least oh we still have a bunch of zombies left i just saw all the pings yeah we still have a lot of zombies left you can turn on the power get that up and then besides quick revive the only thing that we really need to dump our money into is perks this is 1750 isn't it huge and we have the 500 to take the portal and we'll literally be flat fucking broke. I think the one thing that I'm concerned about is I have no idea how this knife is going to be against... Why can't I think of their name? Oh my god, what are they called? Megatons. There we go. Took me a second, bro. It was just deep in thought trying to remember their names. Yeah, I have no idea how the knife is going to be against the Megatons. It could either be incredible or it could be actual dog shit. I also have Aether Shroud as my get out of jail free card, which is very nice. Oh my god, we finally got armor. We should have a dog round this round and then the round after that we should get the Megaton. I think I should probably save up for pack-a-punching the knife first. It's fine against the zombies as of right now, but I have no idea how it's going to be against the Megatons. And if it's not good, we need pack a punch like as soon as possible. Well, the dogs have iframes. Oh shit. Max ammo. Hell yeah. Well, we're about to find out how the knife is against the Megatons. Hopefully this shit is good. I also have my ether shroud. Like God forbid it's doing no damage and he's kind of like messing me up. Oh my God. Another max ammo. Bro, I'm telling you, I only get them after dog rounds. Oh wait. Oh my God. Wait, it's actually crazy. What? Now oh, get out of the way, bro. Bro, it can almost two shot him. The knife is fucking crazy. I do not want that nuke. I think I'm still gonna go pack punch just in case. I think there's just one zombie left. There we go. Our knife is pack punch. Damn, bro. It's hitting for almost 10k at pack a punch one. This is this is the easiest round nine of the entire challenge so far. So I was saying earlier with Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, I'm like, oh, these are gonna be the easiest. I completely forgot how easy this is in Cold War. Cold War is probably like the only actual easy game for this and not like time consuming. Like I'm on round nine. Oh my god, I just, my frames just died. I'm going on to 
to round 10 in the same amount of time I think it took us to get to round five or six on Infinite Warfare. This is literally two times as fast. This is basically like a normal game of Cold War. As of right now, we are chilling, bro. Oh, I unlocked the ballistic knife. Yeah, there's so much shit that I haven't unlocked. In Modern Warfare 3, can you unlock weapons through zombies? Like, does it have like sub, like different challenges for unlocking weapons through zombies? Like Cold War did? Like, that's what I was gonna say is that I really like how Cold War does that. That if you just play zombies, you can still unlock those weapons. Does Modern Warfare 3 do that or no? I haven't played all that much since like they started adding more weapons. So I have no idea. I think I'm gonna upgrade my armor. I feel like that's the best course of action right now. Upgrade you. It's gonna take forever to upgrade this knife to gold, but who knows? We might be able to do it. There's another megaton here. I just wanna, oh my God, I forgot to teleport to you. Bro, I can almost one shot him with this shit. See, this is the only time where it's like kind of a problem is because there's a lot of zombies here. I don't know what that was. Carpenter, huge. Nope, don't lunge. Yo, let's just use this. Kill you, kill you. And there we go, we're good. You know, so I'm also gonna wait till like round 15 to start buying more perks so I can just buy them from the Wonder Fizz. Cause the only things I really have left are Elemental Pop or Deadshot or Speed Cola on the map. Oh, that's right, it's 15,000. Unlike the other games, this genuinely feels like I'm just playing a game of Cold War. Talk about a weapon feeling like a mini wonder weapon, bro. This shit is crazy. We only need 810 more scrap and we can upgrade this to gold. I hate the weapon rarity system, bro. I like the super easter egg, at least to a degree. It's kind of lame, but at the same time, it's very nice to load into the game with a purple weapon. But at the same time, like, I don't like the... Bro, see? I swear to God, every time after a dog round, we get max ammo. But still, the super easter egg is kind of just meh because weapon rarity suck. I hate them. I, I, I think they're bringing them back, sadly. I wish they wouldn't. Like whenever, like for Gulf War, I think that was in the leaks at least. Okay, we can get this pack punch and we can repair our armor really quick and pack punch you again. Repair our armor and we are set. This is going to be the first time in a while I actually get pack a punch three. Like, come on, come out of your little hole. Is that 18k, bro? Holy shit. Like I get it's a melee weapon and like to keep up with the other ones, it kind of has to do that damage. Well, that's actually crazy. I heard a drop. Be a nuke, please. Oh, bonus points. Yay. Yeah, the range on this melee is also like insane. Okay, that's the other thing is I have my knives fully leveled up. So every time I get a melee kill, it actually heals me. Pick up the sentence. Like, actually, no, I'll pick up the tomahawk. I feel like that's more fitting. And then also if I use the tomahawk, technically it's still counts as a melee. I don't think I'd ever throw this tomahawk, but if I have to, it's just a melee that you throw. Holy shit, bro. We're already on round 15. Use this. Did I just one shot him? Nah, that's actually crazy. This knife is actually, oh my God, bro. This knife is unbelievable. Oh no. Unbelievably good. Yeah, bro. Just come in with a knife, focus on this and then just get the wonder weapon. Use the wonder weapon for clearing hordes. Use the knife for like the megatons and shit like that. Does that mean you can one shot? I mean, realistically, you can kind of just sit here and do this to hordes. Bro, we're already on round 16 this is insane how do i how does those i'm confused can you headshot with the knife how does that even work like that because technically i swung and hit him in the head okay those three i definitely hit in the head but then if i like swing down here no that still stabbed him in the head if i swing down there okay so does it do more damage 18 no that's such a weird why is that why is that a thing it's not doing more damage okay I just grab this nuke i should clear out a lot of the rounds we actually have a decent amount of salvage now too i think this is the last of the rounds there's one more that's last of the rounds bro this is barely like a challenge i'm just playing cold war i'm just enjoying the game with a good weapon like the knife is insane i knew the knife was good this is what i was saying is i'm like pretty sure that like this was the strat like whenever d machine was and i got the psy bro holy we're getting cool ass melee weapons i wonder if there's any like faster melee options in cold war that are actually better we also almost have enough for the triple pack Woo! hell yeah i think i prestiged once playing warzone when vanguard came out and i just never never played again save this a-hole go repair our armor and we're actually only 5k off the triple pack i hear the zombie stomping around bro there he is on to round 18 bro i'm just playing a normal game of cold war at this point mayo cat was on to something for real bro and another free round because it's a dog round weave stab Weave, stab. Oh, oh, oh. What are you doing, bro? Homie started tweaking the fuck out. What was that? There we go. On to round 19. Almost instantaneously after getting to round 18. Ooh, double points. I forgot to get more perks. I've been sitting with Jug Stamina Up. I almost said Speed Cola. Jug Stamina Up Quick Revive literally this entire time. We finally have enough for the triple pack. And I think, honestly, after I get this triple pack, I'll just be back with you guys whenever something interesting happens. Because as of right now, it has been the same thing for 19, almost 20 rounds. I mean, Heavy Zombie started spawning. 
happening. So I guess that's kind of cool. Oh yeah, that was uh, that was pretty cool. I put Shatter Blast on here too. So we're on round 24. And quite literally, the only thing that's happened is we got enough rare salvage to actually upgrade this to gold and do even more damage. So I think it was doing 48,000 before. How much does it do with gold? Over 60k. That is unfucking believable. And round 25 is another free round because it's a dog round. Oh my god, bro. I just got the scythe. That's a cool thing that happened, I guess. I unironically will take the scythe in here and get it dark ether for thumbnails. I'm sorry, but a scythe has to be probably the coolest melee weapon they've ever added. That goes so hard. All right, bro. It is round 30 and it is not scaling up in difficulty virtually at all. I should get my exfil window, right? If I get my exfil, I'm just going to exfil. Are you going to give me my exfil or no? Is it round 31? I think it might be round 31. So I'll get through this round and then once I'm done with this round, I'll exfil. I could just quit, but that's lame. All right, we have our exfil. Time to get the fuck off Cold War because this is like disgustingly easy at this point. We're on round 31. Bro, literally nothing happens. Whenever I said, hey, yeah, I'm going to not talk for a little bit and only talk when something interesting happens, nothing happened. This is where it could get bad is having to kill all these assholes in this period of time. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to get rid of the megatons. If I can proc my shatter blast, I can kill a bunch of them at once. Problem is I have to proc my shatter blast. I also have to not die. That would also be pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. And kill six more, three more. Yeah, I understand that, bro. I'm waiting for these zombies to get here. There we go. Let me in. Let me in, please. But that is the end of the video. Cold War was disgustingly easy. I guess a good one to end it off on. If you guys liked the video, make sure to leave a like on it. I really appreciate it. Appreciate you guys for watching if you got this far, and I will see you guys in the next video.